Welcome in Karibuni to our room of Zanzibar. Okay, now I'm going to share with you how we're going to decorate these cookies. This is the third part of my video. Okay, and uh, I've got the royal icing here. This is a, the thin consistency that I wanted. It's for dipping. If you watch the um, video on how to make royal icing, you would be able to understand how we have come to this stage. Okay, and so you could dip your cookies in here or you could pour it and then you're going to tap it to make sure all the, you know, it's going to drip. So just all the extras are gone. And uh, I've got, I'm going to be using my sanding sugar, which is pink. I do have a video on this, but I'll post it in, uh, you know, maybe a day or two. And uh, you can use this for any kind of design you like. It doesn't have to be a flower. And I'm going to keep this for a while to set you may want to keep it for an hour or two okay now for this one you would use a tip number one tip if not then you have to make sure that your piping bag is got a very very small thin hole and you're gonna you, s uh, you have to taste your uh, your icing to, sh to make sure that it comes out well okay so I'm creating a border here because I want to do the flooding uh, technique but uh, since I'm doing two colors, I want this to dry for a few minutes before I add another color. Okay, so this is going to stay for about 10-15 uh, minutes. And uh, now I'm doing, this is what is called the flooding technique, the one color flooding technique. So you're going to create the border. And uh, like I say, if you have the tip, that's better. But if you don't have, make sure your bag has got a very small hole so that you don't have too much coming out. So you're going to fill up the box, uh, like how I'm doing, as you can see. And then, okay, uh, by the way, I'm not a pro in this department. I'm learning just like the way you guys are. So I'm just sharing whatever I'm learning right now. So you can use a toothpick to fill up the gaps in your, with your, I mean, on the uh, royal icing and uh, you're just gonna shake it or you can tap it uh, you know if you have a flat surface so this is gonna dry for about uh, just keep it out in the open you don't need to cover it you don't need to keep it in the fridge okay so now I'm going to fill up the inside with a different color and this is like I said just because I wanted to make a difference in the two colors you can do both at one time if you want it's perfectly all right uh, you just need to practice this okay and uh, these are really beautiful and after this you can you know add anything else that you want you can put the sugar you can make a little flowers and uh, put them on the top it's absolutely a free you know it's a very creative way of doing and if you are very artistic this you can really really go far with this okay so I'm just uh, uh, spreading my royal icing and that's it you want to shake it a bit and uh, so you're gonna let it uh, stay okay now with a heart I'm gonna do what you call the wet and wet design which is gonna be um, I'm gonna fill it up just like how I did the the other one so you do the outline first and then you go inside they all have the same style I mean same technique okay okay so once you fill it up we're gonna go through the same motion and uh, you can do this like I say any color any shapes and uh, they're, they're really really fun to make you know my kids really enjoy doing this with me and uh, you know show some creativity here okay and uh, so you want to shake to make sure you, that your icing is all even and uh, I'm gonna make a heart design you could do this for Valentine or you can just do it any time of the year and so we're gonna put some dots over there the red dots okay and then take a sharp uh, I'm using a toothpick I mean that's the only thing I can think of and you're gonna start from the beginning and you just uh, 
do just like that. I don't know what you say. Like I say, I'm not a pro in this, but uh, I will put a link here of the, you know, of the videos of the people that I really, really like and admire their work. So if you want to take this further and you're serious about the cookie decorating, you can learn a lot more, okay? Okay, so I'm going again here, again with the um, another heart. And this time we're gonna make the marble effect. So I'm sure by now you already have an idea, okay? on how to go about this and you can create your own design like I say if you are very artistic and uh, also you can draw you can draw you can use stencils you can uh, you know personalize your cookies uh, you know with uh, different alphabets if you're having a you know children's party or a wedding I mean there's so many ways to make these cookies attractive Okay, so here, as you can see, I'm drawing the lines, and uh, any color you want. I just didn't want to mix too many colors, so I'm just doing these colors, but you can do as many colors as you want. As you can be as messy as you, ca you want. It's, uh, you know, it's like a freehand thing, so you can practice over here. And besides, uh, the cookies taste delicious. Okay, with or without the icing. Okay, so here I've got my toothpick again, and I'm just going to run down a line here, straight line down, and then again. Okay, so you will have a little um, royal icing stuck on your on your toothpick. You can just uh, you know wipe it with a, a paper napkin or a towel. So there you go, the marble is done. Now I'm trying to do the flower, but my icing is. Uh, acting up but we'll try and see how far we can go with this and by the way you can uh, remove this you know let it dry for a few minutes if you have done a mistake and you just scrap it out with a knife okay okay now this is another round one that I want to do and uh, yeah so like I say it's it's very easy it just requires a little practice you know, on how you squeeze your icing, you know, it depends, you know, the motion, how you want it. Okay, now this is the another wet and wet design. I'm trying to do, I'm not going to say here, so, but uh, like I say, I'm not very artistic. I'm not artistic at all, so I'm just trying to make some designs here to give you an idea how to go about it, and so some of you who are artistics, the henna, henna people, people who do henna designs, you know, you can do a henna design on your, on your cookie, you know. You can write, you can personalize, uh, you know, write uh, a nice message to your loved ones. You know, I love to do this for the kids and I put their names on it. Uh, yeah, you can use stencils that have uh, flowers or they have a message, you know. I mean, there's a lot you can do with this, okay? And, uh, yeah, so this is the wet and wet design again. I mean, technique. And you just let it dry. So this would take about three to four hours or sometimes overnight. It depends how thick you're making your royal icing is. But I, um, they're not difficult. They're very easy to to handle, to store, and once you have uh, decorated them, I mean they have the icing, uh, you store this in a tight container and you can keep them up to two weeks, but I doubt they would last for two weeks because they really taste delicious. And if you make them very attractive and colorful, definitely they're, gonna, they're, they're going to be irresistible, so you, I don't think you have to worry about keeping them for two weeks. Okay, so there we go again with the same um, technique, you know, you want to fill up all the gaps so that your icing looks even, okay, and um, that's about it, and uh, I'm going to try and do something here. Um, 
you know something different I don't know with the colors I'm just playing with the colors here so I'm putting the dots outside Okay, this is uh, as you can see okay and what also you can do is after these have dried you can uh, add uh, you know a little shine on it like a pearl dust uh, you know those um, some glitter and um, there's a lot you can do okay and um, okay what I'm trying to do here okay so this one has dried this is not the wet effect this is the dry and uh, wet and dry technique okay so I'm trying to make the same petals but uh, as you can see I'm not good at it just giving you an idea so please don't come back and say that you don't know how to do or whatever you know you have some mean people sometimes they just come up and uh, this thing I am not a pro in this but I'm just sharing what I am learning okay Oops. I don't know this yet I'm just learning I mean I know how to make the icing I know how to I have a knowledge on how to do it but I am not artistic so I really don't know much like I say you can uh, you can use a, a what do you call a edible pen and draw and then you can trace it back or you can also use a uh, tracing paper and draw whatever you want okay so now my days is dried so now I'm gonna do the, ye the the middle part so my yellow sanding sugar and that's it so please uh, well thank you for watching and for more recipes please visit me at Rome of Zanzibar so here's my beautiful cookies I hope you like them